Paul Cook here, your local real estate probate and estate expert, bringing you another edition of the vlog where I'm addressing topics related to real estate as well as probate. So if you have questions, please feel free to text or call me and I'm happy to tackle it in a future vlog. Now you can find uh, this and numerous other vlogs and blogs, but the vlog specifically on our YouTube channel and blogs are posted on my website uh, www.athensprobateexpert.com, all one word, and you can find uh, many of your frequently asked questions answered there. Just click on the FAQ tab. So let's dive in. What happens to all your stuff when you die? Part 1B. Some practical ways, this is what we're going to look at today, some practical ways to get a will and other legal documents in place and it is for everyone's sake. Here's what I suggest. First, you need to mark a date on your calendar to have your will, uh, living will, estate plan completed by. So you're setting a goal for yourself. There may be other documents that you need to have drawn up. It depends on your circumstance, but these are the minimum. Second, have a roadmap to get it done. And I suggest you listen and read the rest of this post and it will help do just that for you. Now, there are three ways that I'm going to suggest you can go about getting these documents completed. You can go online to a legal site that will coach you through the process uh, by asking questions. You can go to an estate planner or you can go to an estate planning attorney. Now, a legal site that deals specifically with estate planning, this is the first one, like www.trustandwill, all one word, dot com, trustandwill.com, uh, is what I recommend. We'll use questions to walk you through the most common areas and issues you need to address. So, if you have things like you have excessive moving parts, let me explain that. Like, you have a business to sell, you have rental properties, or you have millions of dollars in assets, then this might not be the best solution for you. But it's definitely better than having nothing in place. So if you have a home or some other simpler assets like stocks, things like that, this could be a very good option. This option is usually less expensive than going to an estate planner or, or an estate attorney. And you can also access it instantly and process and complete it on your own timetable. On the downside, it can feel very impersonal and leave you with some pressing questions unanswered and some things possibly not being dealt with. So take that into mind, into consideration. Two, you can go to an estate planner and many times an estate planner uh, will utilize an estate attorney to peruse documents after they are drafted or to address the more uncommon issues. Here you reap the benefit of dealing with a person and a person who's trained in a state, in a state law, and a state planning. They're not lawyers though. I'm not either. This can be a great way to go if you're trying to get a handle on what you're actually what you actually have in assets and establish a plan for your financial life moving forward. If your plan is already in place, then you might opt for the legal site or the estate attorney. This generally is more cost effective, although it does vary than an estate attorney, but tends to be more expensive than the legal site. Just make sure you compare. Obviously, if you want to be able to talk with a person and have them walk you through everything, this would be a good option. Third is an attorney. There are attorneys who specialize in estate and estate planning, but you need to ask them and make sure. Not all attorneys specialize in this, and you won't be able to immediately have the documents drafted like a legal site, but you will have the personal interaction and the added comfort of dealing directly with a legal expert in uh, estates, in estates, hopefully estate planning. There are attorneys, by the way, that deal with estate planning as well as the state. This may cost you more, but it might also bring you a greater peace of mind. 
This router I recommend if you have an estate that has multiple moving parts like a business to sell, rental or investment properties, things like that. Also unusual circumstances uh, like giving to charities or a strain dynamic among the heirs or an estate of multiple millions of dollars. Then choose the estate attorney. Now, whichever route you take, if you have over $100,000 in assets, please schedule to get it done. This will give you peace of mind that your spouse, children, and other family members are being addressed and, and taken care of in a manner that you desire through the entire process. Also, you can keep them out of the probate process and they will thank you for it. This will give your spouse, children, and grandchildren, and other heirs the comfort of knowing that your estate distribution and care is handled by you and not by attorneys or by the state. One last thing, if you decide not to peruse, uh, to pursue estate planning, here's what awaits your heirs, probate. Nine to 18 months of legal gymnastics, lots of time and energy that can drain eight to 10% of your estate in legal fees and put a strain on every relationship involved. If you have no will, probate ensures that these loved ones will not be dealt with as you would have desired and their relationships will be put to the test. So why not take some time, put into place an estate plan, give the 10% you would have spent on legal fees to the heirs or to a charity of your choice and make the process less than three months, many times in Georgia, uh, only a few weeks, and bless them with security that you have watched out for them. For just a few hours invested now, and maybe less than even a thousand dollars, you can care for them long after you leave this earth. So remember, on the flip side of this, I'm not an attorney, this is not a legal advice. If you have need of an attorney or estate planner, I'm happy to point you to some excellent ones. Call or text me 706-714-8553, 706-714-8553, free consultation, no obligation. Also, there's more information like this on probate on my website, www.athensprobateexpert.com, where you can also access my free book, Selling an Inherited Home. That's right, it's free as well as get many of your questions answered by clicking FAQ tab. So until next week, God bless you. And remember, drive safe. There are lots of student drivers out there.